Aliens are fucking real. There are around 10 to the 24th power planets in the observable universe. There are around 10 to the 21st power stars in the observable universe. And there are 19 sextillion stars with at least one Earth-like planet in the habitable zone. The observable universe is staggeringly big. These numbers are so massive that all we can do is perceive them as being gigantic. I could multiply or divide these numbers by a trillion, and it would make no difference to your perception of them, because such high numbers are really difficult to wrap your head around. So let's put it this way. If you believe that on any given Earth-like planet in the habitable zone of a star, there is a 1 in 1 trillion chance that any life develops during its billions of years of existence, then it follows that there are over 19 billion planets that life has formed on in our observable universe. And I would say that it's possible that 1 in 1 trillion is a very low estimate for the probability. How likely is it really for life to develop on an Earth-like planet? It's probably not that low. Also, worthy of noting, a planet does not need to be Earth-like to develop life. So the possibility of life development is not limited to these 19 sextillion plus Earth-like planets. An example of a place where life could develop despite not possessing Earth-like conditions is Titan. Titan is Saturn's largest moon, and scientists believe it is the most likely place for life to develop outside of Earth in our solar system. This is due to Titan's significant atmosphere and the presence of liquid water. Even though Titan is incredibly cold, somewhere between negative 179 and negative 290 Fahrenheit, it is possible for extremophiles to develop by gather gathering nutrients and heat from the thermal vents coming out of the planet's core. This example is important because it illustrates the ability for life to develop even under the most extremely hostile of conditions, only increasing the probability of life developing elsewhere in the universe. For Earth to be the only planet in the observable universe that has developed life, the odds for life to develop must be so low that it is a miracle to combine all miracles that life has developed, and I simply find this unlikely. And you can keep in mind, these statistics are only for the observable universe. The universe at large is at least 250 times bigger than the observable universe, and likely far greater than that. The universe is so mind-blowingly massive that the odds that life has developed somewhere else seem to me to be almost 100%. However, whether we will ever find this life is a different question. Even in the best case scenario, humanity's explanation will likely be limited to the local group of galaxies. There are around 21.6 trillion planets in the local group. So, the numbers are still incredibly high, but now somewhat possible to grasp. If you believe that there is a 1 in 1 trillion chance of life developing on any given planet in the local group, then it follows that there are approximately 22 planets that have developed life at some point that we could possibly find. Of course, the chances of life developing may be much higher than this. I find one in a trillion to be a very low estimate. So, I will say, there is almost certainly life somewhere in the universe, and there is probably life in our local group that we could find at some point. Though it may sound silly, I don't find belief in aliens to be something extreme at all. Statistically, it seems likely that there is life out there. The odds of life developing intelligence is another question, but I find that to also be likely, just due to the staggering number of opportunities for it to occur. So, that's why aliens are fucking real, bro. Also, there's no fucking way Egyptians could have fucking 